Hello, um, welcome back to Diary of a Bipolar Disorder, <laughs> um, I'm just doing my little weekly update, um, things have kind of improved a little bit, I am happy to say that through my employer I get like 10 free therapy sessions through BetterHelp, so that has definitely given me like an optimistic boost, um, and last week I had to work four days, and then this week I go up to five days, so I'm really nervous, and I know, I feel, I feel kind of, I feel really stupid, like, and I don't think a lot of people will understand this, but it's just like, I have like this over, this like fear that I won't be able to do it, and I've done it before, all the way up until I was like, until like, maybe since covid that I went down to working four days a week and <clears throat> I don't know I just it's like this fear of mine like that I won't be able to do it and I feel like when I look at my cat my cat is like emotionally upset because Chester died and she won't leave my bed and when I look at her I'm like come on don't be stupid just get off the bed and go around like you'll be fine but you can just tell that every time I take her off the bed, she'll just run right back to the bed or the desk. Like, those, she stays up on high furniture. And it's just kind of like, I feel like I'm like Sindel. Or just like, you can do it. But, like, I just get so exhausted at work that when it comes to, like, the fifth day of working, I, I just get so exhausted. Like, and then I have this little voice in my head that's saying, like, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. And, um, I don't know if there's anyone who can, like, relate to that. If you can, I would like to, you know, hear from you. So, just introduce yourself, I guess, <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. So, I'm really hoping that these therapy sessions help me. <clears throat> I had a session yesterday. And it was basically me just explaining what I'm looking for out of therapy and what situation I'm in. And, um, and, uh, basically I'm just looking for, like, resilience so that I can keep going and so that I have, like, a, like, a drive again because I've lost my drive in life and I really don't have an option anymore. Um, me and John got in a fight last week and it seems to happen like every six months and so I don't know if he's gonna kick me out today was the first day I talked to him in like four days and it was just very small talk um so I don't know if he's gonna kick me out he has every right to kick me out and then I'll be homeless and I won't have Sindel so I'm really hoping he doesn't um but it's just really, I need to move out. So I don't really have a choice. I have to work. And I have to fight my depression. Um, I think, I'm hoping that this is kind of like a kick in the ass. Saying like, you know, you don't really have a choice. But for some reason, like with my depression, it doesn't seem to like, it doesn't seem to like register that I don't have, like that I need to better my life. Like with my depression, it, it's just kind of like, this exhaustion it's it's like I don't know in this talk in my head so I just it's not that I don't want to work like I want to work I want to make the money and I want to get out of this situation I'm in and I want to be independent again um so it's not that I don't want to. Like, I want to. Um, it's just about fighting the exhaustion when it comes time to go to work. And by, hopefully with therapy, I can have, like, this self-talk. That I can talk to myself better. And she can teach me, like, coping skills of how I can talk to myself better. About, like, what to say to myself when I have self-doubt or when I have that exhaustion where I don't know, where I feel like I need more sleep or something, because that's what it comes down to, is that I just, like, 
I just want more sleep. And it's just a lot of sleeping, too much sleeping. 10 hours a day sleeping is just too much sleep. Like eight hours, like if I can strive for something, I'd like to sleep for like seven or eight hours. But when my alarm goes off, I just go back to sleep. And it's so stupid. And I'm, and I'm, it's, I'm ashamed of myself. Like, I just don't, there's just so much exhaustion and I don't even know where it's coming from. Maybe it's just like the stress of life. Maybe it's just. You know, I've been sober now since January, so it's going on nine months. And so maybe it's just like, you know, I'm trying to find ways to cope with life stressors, um, which I got lucky that I haven't started drinking again. Um... I'm lucky for my friends that I talk to, who are luckily there to talk to. Um, so, everyone else seems to be doing it fine, so why can't I? Like, I want to do it. And then, like, I was reaching out to, you know, family members about my situation and how can I get out of John's house and give, like, my room from somewhere and, you know, how can I do it and with my budget and with the money that I have and what I would be getting even if I work full time if I am able to I am able to that's what I need to tell myself not if I am able to but I'm able to and then like working full time and it's just it's hard when I'm trying to like just get up to working full time and having enough energy to work full time and then not having enough money to move out and my brother's telling me I need to get a job and a part-time job. It's just like, I don't even, I haven't even worked a full-time job, like, in two years since COVID or three years. And it's just, I don't, I just, I'm going to be homeless if he kicks me out. And all I can think about is how exhausted I am. Like, I don't have, I'm going to lose Sindel, I'm going to. You know, and all I can think about is how I need more sleep and how exhausted I am. I don't know. So hopefully these therapy sessions will help me and just next starting on Monday. I work I'll be working Monday through Friday. And um I'm just praying to God every day and I'm I don't know about to give me strength to get through working Monday through Friday and just I think once I get like a few weeks under my belt working Monday through Friday and I get the routine of it I'm hoping that you know I can do it and that I feel more confident (laughs) I don't know and then maybe if I do that maybe I can pick up a shift somewhere working on a Saturday just seems so like impossible to me I know this is like it just seems like I don't have energy to work five days a week how am I gonna work six days a week and just have one day to recuperate and not even see my friends or anything when I try to see a friend every week to just keep my mental health so I'm not isolating myself and just to have the energy to do that when I only have one day off a week when I don't get enough sleep when I work four days a week, you know, it just seems like it's so, it's hard, and I just, I just don't know how to get out of it, like, I don't know, I thought I would be, like, less depressed when I stopped drinking, and I am less depressed, well, I'm less, like, I don't want to, like, die anymore, so, I mean, it's a step up, but it's still, like, I still don't have, like, the drive, and I want to have a drive like I used to in my early 20s, where I just had a drive, you know, and it's just, I don't know. So that's what I'm going to talk to my therapist about. But I have 10 sessions, so hopefully I can take something out of these 10 sessions. Um, Well, I have nine more sessions. The first session was me just explaining my situation. Um... 
after that I, I can't afford therapy or anything like <laughs> I just can't afford it I can't even afford like you know I'm a month behind on my car payment and all that <sighs> I'm just it's hard so that's basically <laughs> that's it if you want to know the struggling life of someone with bipolar disorder it's just I don't know I don't know I don't know and I I thought that like you know when I started making this channel or started like when I switched this channel over from like my from into like a diary of a bipolar disorder I was like optimistic like oh you know the ups and downs and stuff but the last like ever since Chester died I haven't even been really doing this channel or doing anything because I just don't see you know I don't want to sit here and do like complain about my life like who wants to watch that I don't know anyways but it's you know, I guess it'll be important to watch back when I am, um, when I am doing better to see that, you know, I hopefully I'll be doing better <laughs> to, you know, see it. So, I have an idea of what I want. I just want to rent a room out of someone's house so that I, I'll be around people and stuff. I don't want to live alone. That was like a big, that's a big fear of mine is just living alone again. Yeah. Well, so that's what's going on this week. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have bipolar disorder or anything and want to talk or anything like that, I would love to meet more people and so if you like what you see, like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll try to make a video again next week. Um, just, you know, after, I don't know. Because I'll be working all week, Monday through Friday. So it's hard to say what my energy level is going to be like. Um, but I know I'll feel better once I do make a video or something. So I'll just try to keep trying to do things that help me say motivated <laughs> that was like the slowest that it's ever but that's basically what okay bye